everyone, it's Emma. Today I wanted to talk to you about a decision that I've made in the last week <laughs> that is uh, that I'm going to self-publish my book. Up till now, my plan A was that I wanted to go the traditional publishing route. Thing is, if you're published by a traditional publisher, then a commissioning editor or somebody at that firm has made the decision to take a risk on your book, to invest in your book. So it's like a stamp of approval that your book is good enough. And I wanted everything that a publishing house could bring, you know, reaching a larger audience, the support, the knowledge, all of that. Well, I've been chasing that dream for about two years now. And actually when I thought about it, I realised that in that time when I've been waiting for publishers etc to get back to me, I've been getting very frustrated and just, just fed up of waiting for other people to do things, waiting for other people's decisions and having to go along with what other people want or whatever. I'm sorry if you've been able to hear snorry pants here <laughs> who fell asleep on my lap while I was filming. Um, so yeah, sorry if you can hear her. I've been holding out recently for my number one choice in publisher and um, after having my book for a little while they have declined. Um, and, and that's fine. I tend to have quite it's not a pessimistic outlook, I wouldn't call myself a pessimist, but when I am doing something, I tend to always try and envision what the worst that could happen is, deal with that and expect that. And it means that I'm never really disappointed. <laughs> um, you know, I expected they were gonna say no. I'd already thought about what I was gonna do if they said no. Um, so when I got the news, it was fine. When I considered self-publishing as an option, all the old excitement I'd had for my book came flooding back. It was like all of those things of, well, I could do this with the book and I could do it that way. And what if I tried this? And then, you know, oh, I could talk to that person. I could do that that way. And all of that suddenly came back and it was like, oh yeah, that's how I used to feel about this. <laughs> I like to be in control. For instance, I'm scared of flying. An awful lot of that fear comes from the lack of control. I, I'm i better driving a car than being a passenger in the car. If I could drive the plane, I'd probably be an awful lot better than I am sitting and relying on somebody else's abilities. And not only that, I can't fly. <laughs> Whereas if a car or a boat break down, like I can swim, I can walk. It's a whole other video there. Um, but the point is this, I am happier, less anxious, more driven when I'm in control. I have always been an employee and had to do whatever other, what other people say, whether I agree with it or not. And I mean, nine times out of 10, I do agree with what people ask me to do. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that person. Um, but the point is, you know, I've always had to toe the line. If somebody says to me, mm, I don't think you should do that because so-and-so might think that's a bad idea or, you know, oh, so-and-so is not going to be very happy with that. I tend to go, oh, okay, because I want to please people. I want to keep people happy. You know, I'm in my 30s now and I've I've had enough of, of all of that, of of just always doing things for other people to please other people or to follow what other people think. I want to be self-employed, I want to be in the driving seat, I want to make decisions and I think that's where a big part of my feelings about self-publishing have come from. Um, you know, I get to decide which edits I go along with and which ones I don't. I get to choose the aesthetic of the book, when it's going to be published, how I market it, when I market it, what I do, what I am and am not willing to do, and what I am and am not willing to negotiate about. 
and I'm ready to do that. I have been actually ready for a while to be the master of my own destiny a little bit more and yeah, here's my opportunity and I am so excited. It's just brought back all of that passion for this book that I had. I mean the thing is, I did think and I have been thinking on and off over the last two years, like am I wasting my time because I wanted this book all done and dusted and on the market a long time ago. Am I wasting my time and have I wasted my time in working with the traditional route? And the answer is an emphatic no. The people I've worked with have been helpful, kind, complimentary. I have learned so much and in that time, while I, every time I've been waiting for somebody else to you know, get back to me about something or whatever. I, I do not do boredom well and I don't rest on my laurels. So I've been spending that time researching all sorts of different things about the industry, the writing industry, the public, publishing industry, and sitting on YouTube watching videos about all sorts of things and learning. You know, I've been watching Jenna Moresi and Kristen Martin and Vivian Rees and loads and loads of other people and reading loads of books that I have learned just tons from and two years ago when I put the last finishing touches to that book I wasn't ready to self-publish I wasn't in the right place in my knowledge or just in myself to bring a quality product to market I just, I just wasn't I, I, and now I am and I needed that two years to learn and to grow. And I'm really excited to learn about just everything to do with bringing, bringing a book out. Ah oh, man, it's, yeah, it's exciting. So I've been spending the last week getting in touch with various professionals that I want to work with, um, making decisions about stuff, starting to map out a timeline. So, as things get fleshed out I will be sharing stuff with you and I can't wait it's it's yeah it's good it's really good I've learned tons from YouTube and I love the fact that I mean for instance yesterday I was working on my author bio and I love that I could just type into YouTube how to write an author bio and I've got a whole load of videos on people's advice on how to go about doing that um, and I can pick and choose the things that I that I want to go with. I often say that community is my favourite word. I just think, we, you know, we're social animals. We, we need each other. And even if that's a virtual community, I just love the fact that everybody shares what they've learnt and helps each other out in that way. Um, you know, and I want to do that too and add something to that narrative. So please like if you did. Please subscribe for more videos I'm going to be going into detail about how I go through you know the editing process the design process about copywriting setting up my own website social media blah 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 all the stuff um and of course other bookish stuff although I have not had much time you know my April wrap up is going to be very very short <laughs> because I just haven't had much time this is a great development and I'm going to be sharing loads with you. So, until next time, hope you all have a lovely few days. See you all again soon.